Look like that, you see that little window right there? That's not supposed to be there. Oh, you don't think so? That observation port is not supposed to be there. Yeah, those three wheel burnouts probably weren't the best for the truck. I mean, well, well, you know, all that extra little sludge and metal and stuff, like that's cool, right? Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. That's it, normal? It, it helps uh, lower my center of gravity. Oh, that's a Yeah. <laughs> Would've been nice if you had that, the truck wouldn't have propped up on three <laughs> wheels doing a burnout. Well, in other news, the truck's going back together. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> people, people pay to weld their diffs up. Yours did it automatically. Mine just did it on its own. So as you guys can see, Dedek has gotten all of his, well, most of his parts back here um, from powder coat. So he started to put everything together. See, he got his little brackets here for his brakes. He's got his little shackle mounts. He's got everything going on in here. And then he got distracted and started pulling his rear end apart. I'll show you guys some of the parts that came back here. One of which being the beautiful work for it back plate that goes on his flatbed. Um, the piping that Dedek had to modify slash build on his own there. Uh, his, ooh, we haven't even talked about the diff covers, have we? Uh, so yeah, you can see that's the rear one. That's why I pulled the cover off to install this one. That's the front. Now these things are like, oh, you haven't even seen them yet, have no. you? Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> these things are gonna be bulletproof, dude. Yeah. Jesus. They, they pretty much are. You can look how thick they are. That's, that's yeah. throughout the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, so she's a big girl. <laughs> so that's the 14 bolt. You can, this is actually a perfect representation of like, this is the rear axle I put into the truck. Obviously this is the front, that's the rear, but that's a Dana 44 and that's comparable to what axle was in the rear. You can see the size difference in the axle I put in. Yeah. That's why we went with that axle. And it's still grenaded. <laughs> so imagine if I left the original semi-floater 14 in there. Well, just imagine what's gonna happen when you're on 40s. No. And 14 wides, well, 15 fives, I guess, on a tire. We got his hitch back, his battery box is done, or battery mount, we should say. Oh, geez, all right, let me not, not scratch that. He's got the Gen Y stabilizer bars there. So that's what you're gonna see looking underneath the truck. Nice. That's where the caliper mounts up to. The rotors on this side spindle the wheel out. So this is actually what's inside the wheel. So the wheel's gonna be like here. So we've got huge news on Dedex K20. We're on our way right now to go pick up, well, we're not on our way. We're about to be on our way to go pick up his bench seat, which this thing looks awesome. We've got some sneak peek pictures. Can't wait to see it in person. Yep. We've also got a beautiful lineup here of uh, OBS truck. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> you need Jesus. Zach's running NOS now? Look at that. Bro, I put that bad boy on there like four weeks ago, five weeks uh, ago. He hasn't I noticed? I had the stickers all on my truck when that went on. Oh, God. Look at this lineup, though. We got the extended cab OBS, we got the single cab OBS, and we've got the crew cab OBS. Yeah, both of these have the 6.4 bumper conversion, my truck and Zach's truck. Well, I guess both of these are my truck. This one has the stock OBS bumper. What? Oh, you mean my work truck? Oh, you, that's your work truck. Yeah, All right. Your truck. Now you got it back. That's your truck. That's the work truck. That's the company truck. Okay. That's what I drive around, sadly. Come on in, buddy. You know what the worst and best part about all this is? What? I bet everyone watching this is thinking that, like, this is taking over, like, a week or a week and a half's time of, like, filming. This has all been, like, <laughs> the past 24 hours. <laughs> like, oh, my God. They got so much done. Like, you have no idea. It's true. It's true. And for all of you that are like over the, the K20 project, I apologize. It just takes up so much space in my spot in my shop. We can't can't do any other projects, Dedek. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to rush to get it done. Oh, okay. Oh guys, I see it already. Dang. Yeah, I did yourself. <whistles> yeah, I did yourself. Jeez. Sir. Oscar looks great, buddy. Ooh, Look at that. Yeah. Looks. If I paint the, the plastic. Okay. Oh, oh you yeah. painted the two? Yeah, he did. Nice, Oscar. <laughs> Looks amazing, buddy. Here's a half inch here. Okay. See? All new foam. And one complete. <laughs> Can I test Apart it? The, the oh, the that's 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 nice. oh, that's good, Oscar. Yes. I like yes. that. Good. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is a seat. Yeah, this. let's get here. Yep. Yes, this is this, 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 nice. Now that we've got the seat in the back of the truck there, we had to make a quick stop over here at O'Reilly's. Dedek had to get some new races and stuff for his bearings. Gotta give a huge shout out to Oscar. Uh, Oscar's done a lot of stuff, a lot of furniture projects that I've built in the past. Oscar does a lot of my upholstery. He's actually upholstered the uh, fat scooter seat to match my Denali. I'll show you guys that when we get back to the shop. I think it's been on the channel like years ago, but Oscar does amazing work. And I'd give you guys his info, but we, we need to keep Oscar, like that's that's our secret. He's super, super swamped and busy and it's hard for us to kind of squeeze in there. This also doesn't make sense. All right. Now I'm smart enough to know that when you have an eight lug and you need a set of lug studs for the front, you need how many? Eight. Right? 16. There you go. Okay. So why would they order me 14? 
<laughs> you don't got the, you have a seven lug, right? The seven lug Fords? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. So we only have 14. Yeah, but I've I've got, for sure, I have two good ones out of the ones that I took out. You gotta play whack-a-mole to separate the rotors. Oh, I should gotta play whack-a-mole once. Yeah. Build in a uh, 10 lug adapter. Check this out, buddy. You're gonna like this. Dang, do they do Ford seats? Yes. He's doing mine next. <laughs> They didn't put the chicken in the middle for you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Zach really wanted him to put the Chick-fil-A logo right in the center. Yeah. Some memories you can't get back. <laughs> All right, which way are you guys going? <laughs> Daddy, there's a bunch of crap in the way here. Down to the 7 16th. Nice little. Just push it forward. You can look at it later. Wow, keys. Push it forward. Oh. Wow. Oh, God. This is a vape. Oh, hold, hold, hold up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Don't rub it on the back of that seatbelt thing. Come on in. Come on in. That looks killer. That looks Sergio, what do you great. think, buddy? Wow, nice. We're going to do your Impala next? Yeah. All right. Definitely. He found an ostrich, killed it. Yep. I put him <laughs> myself. What about the coyote you had the other day? You should have used that. Shh. We're saving that for something special. He's going to hang from there. So for those of you guys that don't know, we actually had the dash sent off too. The dash is getting all leather wrapped. Um, it's been a little delayed. Oscar doesn't do dashes, so I went to another shop to get the dash done, but... I'm really jealous. I, I'm yeah. loving it. I'm really jealous. We're actually going to be hopefully doing something like this to the uh, the gray OBS. We talked to Oscar today. If you guys have any cool ideas on what you think we should do, let me know. But I'm kind of liking the black. It's, uh, it's pretty close. Cool. Well, it, he he, he added some foam. No, feel right there. It, it, no, it's, it would drop like another two yeah. inches or so. No, because the sliders are all the way back. Have you sat on this yet? Come in. No. Get up here and sit. I'm on waiting this. to bolt it in. Get up here and sit on this. I'm, I'm gonna wait to see. I'll the help finish. you. I'm gonna wait to see the finished product. I'll help I want you. to take it all in at once. Well, Dedek okay. went to go pick up a few more things um, from Powder Coat, and hopefully we get a couple wheels back. We're not sure if that's gonna happen today or not. Meanwhile, speaking of wheels, Zach's over here. Seeing how not fun it is polishing wheels, huh, buddy? Yeah. Um, if you have polished wheels, don't let them go like six months without touching them. Or just clear coat your polished wheels because it's not worth it. Polished wheels literally look good for a couple days after you polish them, and that's it. I, th that's the reason I don't run them. They're a pain in the butt to maintain. All right, y'all. Well, Dedek just got back from getting his wheels polished. Look at these bad boys. All more cleaned up than polished, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing, oh, but no, Joe, the second I, me it kind of looks like I, like, like he did a little yeah. better job the than me. The second me and Chris picked him up, I was like, mm, wasn't worth it, but whatever, it is what it is. It's a lot better than it was. You win some, you lose some, and I lost on this one, but whatever. Hey, but your seat looks great. Yeah, seat looks, uh, don't get me wrong, tires, wheels, and hole, I won. Right. Just as one part, I lost. But that's what happens when you're trying to find someone last minute. I mean, realistically, what? Today's Friday? Today's Friday, right? <laughs> yeah. Wednesday, I didn't have wheels, tires, or anything. Yeah. And now I am have wheels. I mean, we pulled off a miracle yesterday, driving all around town, picking yeah. everything up, getting everything machined. Also, by the time we got these back, tire shops are closed. So we got uh, Zach the tire shop here. We're going to try and mount these the old fashioned way. <laughs> no, we can't go get a clip on air no, truck. Hit it. Okay, Derek's just going for it. All right, so Zach's got the starter fluid. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna stand way over here. Oh, gee, that's a lot. Go, 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 go. That was that was easy. <laughs> let, let Chris do the Your next turn. one. Let Chris do the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Where's the best one? That was it. Oh, that was the yeah, best that's one. Why we did it first? Oh, Dedek with his uh, super sweet work truck here, the old Nissan Kicks. Meanwhile, Zach's over here on the grill making some burgers. Nice body. Getting her aired up here. Here goes the hand mounting. Go, Chris. Hardest working guy on the channel right here. Look at that. Thanks, son. Thanks, son. Yeah, that's right. Again, shout out to RBP Tire. All right, get in there, Chris. Get the tire irons. Slash pry bars. Get it, boys. It's not like no... Fr 110 tire. Yeah, why are, why are the 110 so much harder to change tires? The tire is way harder. Than way the harder than the 110. What? Your turn. Oh, yeah, dude. Hold on. Got I, got, I gotta go do something outside first, though. Yeah. Tire number two. All right. All right. Well, I need to see you do it like three more times, Zach, and then I'll know how to do it. Exactly, thank you. Put <laughs> up or shut up? Oh, no. <laughs> go, Daddy, 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 go, Da
Is that, is that all hair hair remnants on your hat there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's aluminum. Am I still even? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> kind of, it's close. Hey, if you need to borrow some, I got you. You know, I'll, I'll loan you some. All right, y'all. So every once in a while, I come up with a genius idea. And, well, it's right here. Tracks, that's 2020 stuff. 2021, we're putting excavators on super singles with super sweet polished exhaust stacks. I mean, just tell me. Tell me that doesn't look rad. I think... I think we need to convert this thing over to wheels. We'll just make it like a skid steer to where like both sides turn. I think we could do it. I'm gonna need you to stop working on the uh, K20 over here. We got a bigger project. All right, let's do it. Let's put some wheels on that. Nice shirt though. Palmetto State Armory. Appreciate it, man. Nice guys. Nice great guys. guys. Great guys. Yeah. All right, a little this, a little that. You know, I think I got just the thing for this. Hold on. Let me grab oh yeah, with adapters. Oh, we'll needs adapters. We'll pop these on. We'll pop the tracks off. Mount these up, and boom, bang! You'll get about like. Only 13 inches of lift out of it. Well, we need lift, and then you know, safer, wider. So uh, I think this is a better route to go. Yeah. K20's back burner. We got we'll this. throw the K20 out of the shop. Yeah. This, is, this is happening now. Stay tuned, next video. So the things we do for Instagram pictures, guys. Sitting here putting on 42 lug nuts and spikes. Just to get a good picture here, make it look complete. Why don't you look excited? Because I just want to get it done. Well, keep working. I'm not stopping you. I'm staying over well, here. We put the front on to see like exactly what we're dealing with because he, homeboy over here is running out of some steam. We gotta, I've been he, here since 7 Is Chris still here? Chris in here? Yeah. Does Chris need to get some beer? Is that what you need? All right, so we're just gonna tease you guys right here with this angle for now, till they get the backs on, but. She big, big. She big, big. I think Super Singles, I, th I think that was the move. Yeah, like now, now she's got some girth to it's her height. Honestly, it's not excessively wide. It, it, look, it looks good. Yeah. It fits the truck. It genuinely fits the truck, I love it. It's going up, boys, we're going up. I'm about to get snow back here on the jacket. Going down, boys, going down. <laughs> All right, rear ends coming together. For the last time, hopefully. Those new disc brakes looking saucy back there. We got Zach over here supervising, make sure everything is tight. Uh, and we're not gonna talk about so it's either loose or over tight. <laughs> All right, 10 lug adapters are on on this side. Look at that difference right there. She's a big one. It's called the rudder, rudder hiders. Yeah. I think I got a segment we should start doing. Zach owns a lot of really weird, crazy tools that, if you're not a mechanic, like myself, um, and that's me saying I'm not a mechanic, not me saying I'm a mechanic, you don't see some of the cool stuff. Zach spends ungodly amounts of money on uh, tool trucks. Uh, Chris is playing with the lights. I have a problem and it's like, cool stuff like this that, Whoa. it's like a pinwheel, which if you watch, you would have seen this on our uh, death wheel, or wheel of death video, but. Look yeah. at that, they even machined it out so it doesn't hit. Dang. And it's indexable so you can, oh, I need to get around the corner. Dang. Or for whatever reason, I gotta like, you know, do one of those. Chris, you got one of those in your truck? What other weird ass? <laughs> uh, that thing pops. So, this. so if anybody back east, you guys probably know this, um, goes on your impact and you can clean the hub. Oh, nice. Before you put the rotor back on. A little, little rusty rust. On. Yeah. These are cool. If you guys have a tap and die set, get these. Tap goes in. You can use a ratchet on there. Nice. Makes it a lot easier. All right, we can't go any deeper yet, Zach. We gotta save. We gotta save some stuff for another video. Maybe one day we'll do a whole tour of Zach's toolbox. Oh, all right, he's got one more for you. Oh Jesus, guy! Oh, oh, is that to like? This is for the. It doesn't want to come loose. I thought that was for if you're working late at the shop at night and somebody comes in. You billy club them. Oh, <laughs> I got it now. There's no brand name on it though. I got. I it's, a, it's a mat. Well, it's it's a rebranded. All right. So what's the? I think that one was like 100 bucks. Hopefully y'all can hear that. You know, someone someone's not respecting that we're filming in here. You know. Hey. My wads of receipts and find it, but. <laughs> yeah, we're here to do some real work, Derek. No, All right. Oh, swing it hold up. on. It's not. Big enough? Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling these monsters over. These are a little heavier than the other ones. Yeah, I should take my hot stuff off. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright. Zach, watch out. Flatbed's coming down. This thing's so big. Now, I'm not going to put the bed on it yet because I still got to do my wire for my rock light. Still got to mount the hitch. Still got to do my battery and it's easier with the bed off. It's back on four wheels and tires. It was literally had nothing on this off morning. The jack stands this earlier. morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we'll give you guys a look. We're going to stand back here a little bit. Jeez, this thing is massive. 
Chris, can you get up in there? That's a, that's a hop, skip, and a jump there. <laughs> Jeez, guy. Where's Zach? We gotta, we gotta put a flag on, we gotta put a flag on Zach so you don't run away. <laughs> yeah. Should we do like the motorhomes, put side cameras so he knows what's all, all around the yeah, track? Yeah, we, we don't want to run anybody over. I mean, the mirror's almost clear me. That's crazy. I think this thing's giving the BBB a run for its money, dude. Zach, we're lifting the BBB higher. I'm down. It needs an, it needs an update. I need to sell it. Anybody want to buy it? We're starting over. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Chris will be your step stool, Zach. Actually, Zach, I want you to get in the driver's seat and just look. You got this. You gotta climb on the tire. Climb on the tire like the monster truck. Oh, jeez. Just a good old We're boy. Up there, dude. Hey, this seat's comfortable. The seat's it's good. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, he did a good job. This is stupid. I feel like I'm in your truck. Like, no joke. Except for it feels bigger because their dash isn't in, so the dashes roll over right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, don't put a cow hood, you can't see. Like, nah, I can see plenty. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> she stuck? She, she on there gooting tight. Is that no. water coming out? Yeah, it's water coming out. Yeah, you're supposed to have water in the front diff, right? Well, it's, it's we don't use it, it's only two-wheel drive. It's cooling a bit. Front, so yeah, it's only two-wheel drive, so like, we're good. I gotta seal the diff cover. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm really gonna pop it off. <laughs> so for all you wondering, yeah, it should have come off before the steering went on, but you know, what? Yeah. There's five thousand pieces that had to go on. Once this truck's like actually out driving and rolling again, I'm actually gonna do a full break on like what the plans are, what the truck's gonna do while I'm gone. By the way, spoiler: the truck's staying here. I'm not taking it with me to Florida. <laughs> um, and what's gonna happen, four-wheel drive is coming back. I'll, I'll explain all that later. What he didn't want to tell you was he's gonna gift this truck to me, but we're gonna save that for another video, just as like a surprise. We're gonna do like the fake surprises that everybody else does. Ooh, why is there caramel? Is caramel in there? Yum. Taste it. That's Taste it, you won't. You won't. <laughs> that's metal, caramel. Is there metal in that one too? Yep. <laughs> snow would be proud of you right now. Yep. That's four snow, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 that is, oh, that's, that's good stuff that's right there. Chocolate. Chocolate, hey, boy. Use it, use it. Cho oh, no! No. <laughs> no! And I was just complimenting Dedek on using I didn't spill. an oil catch can, but... It caught it. Yeah. Old Dedek, he would've just dumped this on the floor. Yeah. New Dedek, we, we got nice things now. Well, things actually got tightened today. I had a talk to with him and I'm like, hey buddy, we're running out of rags. <laughs> well, Zach has to work on these floors now too, so let's not, you know, let Zach work hey, in a puddle. Know, my good buddy Ryan, he bought a floor clean. It's true. To everybody that made fun of me for buying a floor cleaner, oh, I had like some off. ESPN going on right there, some hindsight, and I knew I would need it one day. Ooh, you're missing teeth in there. Am I? Just kidding. Oh, I wouldn't have been surprised. I did a few four wheel drive launches in this thing before we, <laughs> on accident. I think it only made 20 horsepower. You know, it's funny, I have an ox locker for this, but this ain't the axle that's staying in it, so that's why I'm not gonna put it in. Can't blow a secret. No, this, in the Jeep this whole axle's going in the Jeep. So, mind you, Dedek really doesn't care about refilling this up, sealing this up. This diff cover's going off her look. One thing I do love about rough stuff, look at that quality. Quality packaging, one, and they even separate your, your uh, washers, your bolts, 12 points. All right, cover's going on. Nice little finishing touch here to the front diff. All right, cover's wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong. You don't go the other way. We're gonna pause this uh, this, here, this here segment for uh, uh, technical difficulties here. Uh, Dedek may have specified the uh, wrong differential here to uh, rough stuff. And uh, well, we. Uh, so I'm getting on the phone and ordering a diff cover from rough stuff. That's my that's my that's my fault. I'm gonna call him up and be like, hey. Hit, hit my card, I messed up. So yeah, that, 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 she doesn't really fit there. If anybody's looking for a Dana 44 diff cover, hit me up, Chick-fil-A gold. Already, uh, already powder coated and everything. Let me know. We even added some caramel to it. Well, since the uh, front was a strikeout here, we're gonna go ahead and put the rear on. This one actually does have to go on properly. All right, Dedek's getting the hitch put on here. His beautiful receiver that he built himself. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad I went with gold, gold receiver black. I think it looks good. I think it's 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 a nice like boom 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 boom. Yeah. Oh no. Oh maybe maybe. Oh no. Other one. Yeah. Okay. Let's try the other. One. That's the one. That. Oh. oh maybe, yeah. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There. Oh no. What? Other other way. Maybe that way. Yeah. 
There she is. There she is. All right, we're back in. We're back in. We're back in. It's late. I'm getting tired. Getting the stabilizer bars for the drop hitch put on. Thank you to Gen Y. Gen Y, thank you. We couldn't have gotten it better if we tried. Yep. All right, the hitch is all on here. Stabilizer bars are bolted up. Dedek's putting his accessories on. Not gonna lie, this hitch was kind of ordered when this thing was sitting on a 10 inch lift and yeah. 37s, not a 12 inch lift on 40s, which ended up being like a 14 inch lift on 40s. But it's still gonna work. Yeah. All right, y'all, it's late. We're gonna call it a ref for tonight. You can see we lower the flatbed. The flatbed's not gonna be that much lower than it sits right now on the lift. So hopefully this thing's uh, rolling by tomorrow. Damn.